Good to see you, Max. Year two here in Port St. Lucie, different than year one. What's it like to have a year under your belt here? Yeah, I mean, maybe it's a little bit more relaxed. Uh, you know, I know all the faces, know all the clubbies, know, you know, kind of know all the, you know, all the faces and names. And so, um, uh, you know, a little bit easier on that uh, from that regard. You know, you know where your locker's at. You kind of know where all the fields <laughs> are at. You, know, you just know all, know all the ins and outs of, uh, uh, what, you know, being a Met. So, uh, you know, I'd say that's how it's different this year. One of the things I found so fascinating, and Todd and I have spoken about it during the course of the season last year, was when you would come out of a game, you would basically hold court inside that, that dugout and really impart your pitching knowledge on so many of the guys in the rotation. Do you look at yourself as a leader in that way, and why is it important for you to do that? That's when, when you come out of the game, that's when you're still emotionally connected to all the pitches. Mm-hmm. Like, you know the decisions you were making. You know, like, hey, I caught that foul ball. He, you know, he's late on this. That's why I'm going to this pitch. And you're, it's, you're really attached to each pitch. So, uh, you know, a lot of times, it, you know, if I'm watching a game, watching another pitcher pitch, like, I'll be thinking, like, oh, why didn't you go to your slider? And then, you know, the pitcher come out and be like, no, I was committed to throwing a heater in this situation. Right. And, you know, kind of the emotions, you know, get you into that spot. So, uh, that's why I love, I love going through with the other starters, uh, kind of decisions that were, you know, the big, you know, the big pitches that you were having to make, and walking through kind of your instincts, uh, what you were seeing in that moment, and why you committed to, you know, the pitch that you had to execute. And so, you know, it's an emotional game, and so you got, you know, you're emotionally connected to these pitches, and you get, you know, when you're in that moment, it makes it a lot easier to connect with your other uh, teammates in that moment. Hey, um, Max, a lot has been made out of Justin coming here, you guys kind of reuniting. And I read some things um, saying that you guys weren't necessarily best of friends before, but you look forward to discussing how the games evolved during your guys' parallel tracks. Have you had a chance to do that yet? And then with that, how do you think the game has evolved since you broke in? Yeah, we've, we've started kind of comparing notes a little bit. Um, you know, he's trying to get used to the, uh, our systems over here than what the Houston does and, you know, kind of walking through. And, you know, he's working with the teams and, you know, once the games get going, that's when we'll really start being able to really compare notes and, and seeing how what it takes, you know, what we're seeing uh, and what we're you know making the checks off of. Um, as for you know the, the game evolving, I mean, you saw the you know the left-hand hitters, you know, all trying to pull the ball in the air and, and really trying. You, you've seen the kind of launch angle revolution of and, it, and what that's done to the swing planes and what that's opened up uh, as pitchers. Uh, you know, hitters have sold out. Uh, for the low part of the zone um, for, and to be able to create power. Uh, it's effective. It's an effective strategy. And you, but as a pitcher, you can navigate around that. Uh, and just the analytics, the data that you're able to get uh, now from back then, uh, it's so much more detailed. So much You know exactly what you're doing uh, when you get onto the mound. Uh, so the preparation has gone up even more so than it has, uh, you know, say, eight, eight, ten years ago. So, um, you know, I'd, I'd say that's the two big factors that where the game has really evolved. So with that said, um, how do you feel about the rule changes? Do you think the pitch clock is going to have an impact on pitchers more than hitters, or are there any things that you're concerned about disrupting what you've grown into as a rhythm over the na- last 15, 16 years? I'm going to be just fine. Like, I'm going to be able, I, I want to work quick. I've always wanted to be able to dictate pace. Uh, I, I don't even think it's a clock that's going to make the difference. I think that it's a rule of only having one timeout. Uh, that's going to completely change the hitter's dynamic of what they're going to be able to do in a box. It puts all the now the pitcher has control of, over the pace of play, not the hitter. The hit, hitter's always had unlimited timeouts, and the umpire's always protected them. Um, and so the now it's changed. Now the pitcher has control over the at bat uh, and can work quick because of that. And so um, you know, to me, it's not the clock; it's the rule change. Let's finish on this. What would it mean to you, Max, to bring a World Series to New York? Uh, everything. That's why you play the game. Uh, you play the game uh, to go out there and win this whole thing. Uh, and you know, Steve obviously has that, uh, you know, that dream. Uh, the, you know, all the coaches have, you know, front office and all the players. You know, that's all of our dreams. We make all the sacrifices in our lives to put ourselves in, just to have a chance to be able to win this thing. Um, so to win, win this thing again for me, that you know, be able to do it a second time. Doing it first is unbelievable. I can't imagine what the second one's going to feel like because I feel like that you know, really would be a big statement within the game. Great to visit with you. Uh, have a terrific spring, great season, and we'll see you uh, along the way. All right, appreciate it. Thanks and for having me. And congrats on the, uh, the, new, the new baby. Oh, the baby, I mean, yes. Yeah, of course. Yep. Four now, and uh, four at a young age, that's, <laughs> that's a lot for Erica. I know. Yeah, it's, it's a circus at home. <laughs> Enjoy All it. the best. Thanks, Max. Right, appreciate it.